Hello everyone, this is Derek from Addictive Tips. In this video, we will be going over how you can install Java on Linux. So I'm doing this on an Ubuntu uh, virtual machine because most people use Ubuntu. And in this video, we're gonna be covering the most common way that you can use Java on Ubuntu. And that is with OpenJDK. Now, before we get started, I have to explain, if you go to my article, you'll know that there's two options for installing the uh, the Java runtime environment. You can use Oracle's Java, which is option two, which I don't recommend unless you absolutely need it. And then there's option one, which is what we'll be covering in this video. OpenJDK is an open source implementation. Um, I'm, I'm oversimplifying it, I'm missing some things here, but it's an open source implementation and it's compatible with virtually any Java application. Most people, if you're just installing Java, you're probably trying to play Minecraft or run, a, run an application, like a jar application, OpenJDK is gonna be more than enough. That's all you're gonna need. So to get OpenJDK, you're going to need to open up a, term, a terminal, excuse me, and uh, once you do that, you can just do sudo apt install openjdk-11-jdk, and then open and I'm doing this on, I believe I'm doing this on Ubuntu uh, 11, or let me see what version of Ubuntu. I'm doing this on 1804 and 1810. So uh, if you're using 1604, I should say you will not be able to get uh, version 11. But if you're using 1804 LTS, which I'm using, or the newest 1810, you will be able to get this. But 1604, you're gonna have to settle with version eight. And if you're still using 1604, I highly recommend upgrading. But anyways, that's basically all you need to do to install uh, the Java application uh, runtime stuff. This will allow you to run your jar files, such as Minecraft Java Edition, and that's all you're gonna need. Um, this is a very, very quick video, but let me just explain really quick. Uh, don't let <laughs> don't let Oracle bully, in, bully you into installing their official runtime. It's honestly not that much different. Unless you're a Java developer, you don't need it. So just take my advice. This is really easy to get going. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.